guys, my name is Regal. If you don't know who I am, welcome to my channel. So today we have a little update, Q and A, whatever you want to call it, for this video. So on my Instagram, I posted a little everything you want to know about the S10 update and everything you want to know in general. So we are going to do all the S10 questions first. I'm going to talk about what I need, what's the plan, everything like that, and then we'll go into the other questions. So S10 is being built for a drag truck, okay? So if you don't know, I don't know if I post this on, on YouTube, um, Texas Speed is actually helping me with the truck. So they are helping me with the motor part. Um, I am not keeping the original LQ9. That is going up to my friend Jonathan. So he's also painting the S10. So when I bring him the S10, hopefully in the next month or so, um, I'm gonna bring the LQ9 with me and give it to him. So he's going to be painting the truck. But before it gets painted, it needs a cage and then it needs to get installed. So the next step is buying the cage installing it so i'm still trying to figure out that part but yeah those are the next steps then it'll be sent to paint when it gets back from paint then we will start working out the motor part along with the motor we need a lot of other things so so along with the motor um i'm not keeping it manual i was going to but it's gonna be a drag truck so we're gonna do like the sequ see i cannot say the word sequential the sequential shifter. So I'm also figuring out the transmission situation. There's plenty of things that I need. It's just very overwhelming. Corbo seats will be in there. I haven't got them yet because not until after it gets painted. So that. Gotta figure out the dash situation. Because I took the dash out, threw it away. We need to do a new dash. So I'm not too sure about that part. What else needs to be done? I need to get it on wheels, obviously. So there's plenty of things that I need to do for the S10. Okay, so now I'm gonna read all the questions that I got for the S10. First question is, are you doing a drag build? Obviously answer that, yes. That will be the S10. A lot of people are asking questions about the C6 too. The C6 will be a drift car. And then this will be like, once I get upgraded axles, then I will be taking this to the drag strip once again. But um, what was I gonna say? This is like my fun street car, also racing at the track. Best of both worlds, daily kind of thing going on. What brakes are you going to do on the S10? I'd probably say bear brakes or will would, not too sure yet. Making the S10 faster than the Camaro, 100%, 100%. Are you going to do a tubular frame on the front or leave it original? Uh, original. Things change, but for now, original. Am I going to compete or is it just a fun car? Definitely, probably won't compete, just more just have fun with it in all of my cars do you plan to turbo all of your cars or do different power adders to each um the s10 i would say we're going to big turbo it but not yet so my thought process was it's going to be a whole new vehicle to me racing everything about it so i was thinking build it get it all together, run it NA. Also, if stuff goes wrong, you know, you're not doing too much. Figure out all the bugs, whatever situations, be comfortable racing it NA. And then once I'm getting all that seat time, then we will boost it. But I'm gonna say, we're gonna big turbo it. So that'll be for that. The C6, I'm not too sure on power adders, to be honest, because that's drift car. And it's my first drift car. So NA will be plenty of power to drift it. You know, you don't want something stupid fast, especially for your first car, drifting. So that's the plan right now. When you get in a painted loser, 
Well, hopefully, I would say in a month, a month or two months. Is that pushing it? All I have to do is buy a cage and get it welded in, and then it's off the paint. So, I think that's, I think that's enough time. How much horsepower is S10 gonna make? I'm not sure. It's a really light vehicle, so I'm not sure, to be honest. I have no idea. Just we're just we're just going with the flow. Would you change the color of this tent? Obviously I talked about this, getting it painted. Um, I have a color in mind. I don't know if people are gonna guess it, but you're not gonna see it until it's done. So if everything goes to plan on this build sheet. It's gonna be a 408 LQ9 um, if everything goes to plan. So I have my build sheet. Oh, not too far. Um, I have my build sheet ready to go for that. Um, obviously, you guys aren't gonna see that until we get it. I guess it's really a lot of them are repeated same questions. So. Let's go over the other questions that I got. Do you only stay local for car meets or do you branch out and travel? Um, I'm starting to work on the travel part. So there is a, a car show that I am gonna help run. It is October 7th. It is in Cross City, Florida. So way North Florida. Um, I will be posting more details about it probably on my Instagram and I can probably share my, these videos of when I do stuff like that, just so you guys know. Um, but I am starting to get into that. Another person reached out and asked me to do traveling car shows with him. So I'm also working that out as well, but I'm hoping to be able to do stuff like that. What do you do for work? This. I do social media. So with you guys liking my stuff, viewing my stuff, sharing my stuff, buying my merch, affiliate links, all that, that helps me be able to continue to do stuff like this. So yeah, that's what I do. When's the next meetup? I will be at Cars and Coffee, Palm Beach. So if you look them up, I don't, I think it's the 23rd. I think it's the 23rd. So that will be the next thing that I am at. I go every single month, favorite, love that. Love hanging out with everybody there. How old are you? I am 26. <laughs> Quarter mile times. Personally, with it being boosted, do not know. When it was NA, it ran a 12.3 and I was making 470 to the wheel. Now it made 691 to the wheel, but I'm on stock axles and with the drag path, it don't work very good. <laughs> so yeah, until I build my rear end, I will not be at the track. Where did you get the headlamps on the Camaro? I wanna get those for mine. These are from Auto Addicts USA. Um, definitely go check them out. They are custom made, super cool. Absolutely love these things. Uh, what else did I say? I got my hood from them. My fenders, my spoiler, they have plenty of goodies. So definitely go check them out. What is your ultimate goal for the Camaro? Kind of what it is now. Um, just a fun street daily kind of car that I can race, if that makes sense. So super reliable. And yeah, I guess that's what it is now and what my goals are. Things can obviously change in the future, but honestly, I love being able to drive it around town, have fun with it, and enjoy it every single day instead of like only when I'm at the track, which will be like more what the S10 is. So this I love being able to like go to the gym, go to the, you know, out to eat with it and actually enjoy it. C6 or CTSV C6. I don't know, C6 has been like one of my dream cars since a kid. Are you considering going 2024 Camaro as it's his last year? No. I don't really care for that kind of stuff. I love 
that I love, which I love the fifth gen. Would I take a sixth gen or get a sixth gen? Yeah, probably a ZL11 LE. But, and the fifth gen is like, I'm good with. Would you ever do a GDM build or Euro build? Honestly, I want a GTR. I want an R35 GTR. So bad. Every time I see them, I literally itch. Like, I want one so bad. It literally eats me how much I want one. So, hopefully, if I ever become have that much money, it'll happen. But right now, absolutely not. What is all done to the VET performance-wise? Um, the VET has long tube headers. I want to say they're speed engineering because there's a sticker in there. Um, I have not pulled them out to look at them or anything like that. But what I have seen is it has a lot of exhaust leaks. So it's like has holes all over it. It's really bad. It's just long tubes and I think an X pipe. That's it. I don't even think there's a tune on it. Um, it has no O2 sensors, so I need O2 sensors. I need new exhaust and tune it. Um, but that's from previous owner. They just didn't take care of it. So it needs a full new exhaust. Um, but yeah. That's really only performance wise on it. Would you sell the Camaro? Absolutely not. Never, ever. Never, ever, 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 ever. It's my baby. So that's really it. A lot of them are just like repeated questions. So yeah, I'm not getting rid of the Camaro. I'm not getting rid of the C6. I'm not getting rid of the S10. I think I'm gonna be that type of person that like, I'm just gonna have like a car collection and like, I'm never going to be able to let go because I think every vehicle is going to be like where it got me. It got me somewhere. So like this has gotten this far and like I got this car seven years ago. So I've been through a lot and this is what started the channel. So like it's, I have that attachment to it. That's another reason I'm very scared to break it um, and beat on it a lot because it's like, this is my therapy. How do I explain it? Like, this is my therapy. This is like how I cope with things. If I'm stressed out, I can go for a drive and clear my mind. And I remember when I broke it like years ago, I didn't have the car for months because I didn't have the money to fix it. And I was heartbroken. <laughs> so I know I need to learn how to have, not have that attachment but I think every vehicle that I ever get and bring on the channel will be here to stay unless I get it as a giveaway car and it's specifically for that, it's different. But for cars that I buy for myself, I hope to be able to do one day like giveaway cars and stuff like that so that you guys can have like cool cars and we can build them on the channel and give them to you. So hopefully one day we can do that, um, but yeah. Definitely won't be with any of the vehicles that I have now. <laughs> Never the Camaro, ever. But I guess that's really it for that. Any other questions, make sure you just leave them in the comments. I'll answer them. Um, but yeah, I guess that's it for this video. And I'll see you guys in my next video.